in this Excel video, I will show you how to use emojis in your Excel formulas. Let's get started. So here I have a list of fictional students and their fictional test scores. And what if I would like to have an emoji appear here, depending on how the students as a class did on the test? How would I do that? Let's take a look. So here on cell D3, I'll just click and I'm going to type equals and I'm going to use an if formula. So the if function, left parenthesis. Now I need to put in a logical test. So if cell C3 is greater than, so I need to put in that greater than symbol, 95, then, and we can indicate then by putting in a comma. So now we need to put in a value if that is true. If C3 is higher than 95, what's going to happen if that's true? Well, I'm going to put a quotation mark, and then here is where I would like an emoji to appear. How am I going to do that? Well, the trick is to hold the Windows key and then tap period or dot on the keyboard, and I get an emoji pop-up. You can see there's a bunch of smiley faces. I also have some most recently used emojis. I have some people, celebrations and objects, vehicles, and symbols. So really, I have a lot to choose from here. I'm just going to go here to the smiley faces and animals category. And you can see you can browse down and see all of the possible options. But I'm going to go back up here to the top, and I want this smiley face with sunglasses to appear in cell D3, but only if the highest score is higher than 95. Next, I'll put in the close quote. So here in the formula, I'm just continuing to construct the formula. And at this point, I can close this emojis pop-up, so I'll X out of that. And then here, I could put my close quote and tap Enter on the keyboard and look. It worked. I've got this cool emoji in cell D3. Now to make this look maybe a little better, I'm going to click on column D to select the entire column. And I'm going to go up here on the home tab, home ribbon in the alignment group. I'm going to click to center that column. Now it looks like it's already selected, but if I click it and then click it again, it does center my emoji. Now at this point, do I need to do the same formula again for the second highest score? No, I don't have to. All I have to do is click on the cell that has the formula that produced this cool emoji, and then go to the lower right corner of that cell. You can see that little green square. That's the autofill handle. And I'll click on it and hold the click and just drag down the spreadsheet as far as I want it to go, release the mouse button, and the same formula is put into cells D4 and D5. Now you can see what happened with cell D5. The formula tested cell C5 to see if it was higher than 95. It was not, so the formula produced a false. And that's perfectly fine, but if it bothers you that it says false, you can go back up to the formula in the formula bar, and we could click after the close quote and put a comma in, and now we could enter a value if false. What if C5 is not greater than 95? What do I want to happen then? That's the value if false. So I'll put in another quote mark, and I could put a space using the space bar, and then close quote and tap enter. And so now, when this logical test is found to be false, there's a blank space that's printed in cell D5. So that works really well. Another option would be to, instead of putting in a blank space, why not put in another emoji? So I'll hold the Windows key and tap the dot or period button again on the keyboard. It takes me back to my list of emojis, and I'll pick a different face, maybe this one here or this one here, showing maybe just a little bit of disappointment in the face. And then I can X out of the emoji pop-up, put in my close quote, tap enter on the keyboard, and it worked. Now if I wanted to, I could use that autofill handle, but this time drag it up so that the other formulas are also updated to include the option of this kind of thinking emoji. Okay, so this is working great, and keep in mind you could pull in any of those other emojis that you might want to include in your formulas. But some of you are probably noticing and maybe are bothered by the fact that these emojis look all beautiful in color, and yet in the spreadsheet itself they show up black and white. If that bothers you, keep watching and I'll show you how to convert them into color emojis. What I could do is I could go to the Insert tab, and over here in the Text option, I can click and select Text Box. And then I'll click and drag to add a text box to my spreadsheet. Now this text box hovers on top of the data, 
doesn't really affect the data, but with the text box selected, I'm going to go up to the formula bar and I'll type equals and then I'll click on cell D3. Tap enter on the keyboard and look. This text box now has a smiley face in it and it's in color. And it doesn't matter where I put this text box, it will always equal whatever is in cell D3. So let's say the highest score ends up being much, much lower. The emoji updates in cell D3 and my text box emoji also updates. I'm going to undo that by holding control and tapping Z to get back to my sunglasses smiley face. And I'm going to click and drag this text box over the top of my black and white smiley face. At this point, I could go to the home tab in the font group and I could click here to change the fill color of the text box. I want to make it no fill, in other words, transparent. You can also go to the shape format tab to change the shape fill to transparent and the shape outline, I want that to also be transparent. So now when I click away from my text box, you can see that it just shows the emoji and it's in color. Next, I'll click on my emoji text box and then I'm just going to use the arrow keys on the keyboard to nudge this down a little bit and to the left until it's exactly over the black and white emoji. Click away and now at this point, anytime the numbers change, my emoji will update to match and it's in color. So now I could repeat that process for cells D4 and D5. I could even just click on my emoji text box, hold control and tap C to copy, control V to paste. And then with this second text box selected, I'll go up to the formula bar and say that it's equal to D4, not D3. Tap enter on the keyboard and then I could place it directly over the other black and white emoji. Let's test it out. The second highest score is three. That emoji reacts. And then of course I could do the same thing one last time. Set this third text box to be equal to D5. Tap enter and we're done. So in this video I've shown you one way that you could use emojis in your Excel formulas to add a little personality to your spreadsheets. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video, or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I really appreciate you. Thanks. Thanks.